Today on unboxing, we are gonna unbox doo, 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 the Army Painter wet palette. So join me, Peps, on Adventures with Peps. Give me a like, give me a follow. Let's see if this is worth the money. Hey, here we go. We are back. It's been oof, it's probably been a week or two since I filmed that intro. I don't know why I'm looking over here, the camera's up there. So, uh, you've probably seen my webcam review, we're using that today, so I will try and remember to look at it when I'm talking. Uh, yeah, let's go! Right, army painter. Wet palette. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Getting fancy around here, guys. So, the best way to keep your wall paints fresh and ready. Two hydro foams. 50 hydro sheets. Nothing exciting. Weather dress. Uh, let's see. Can't really see that because my head's in the way. Perfect. There we go. The best wet palette there is. Superior quality and custom design to keep your war paints preserves perfectly smooth and creamy. The wet palette comes with two sheets of hydro foam, 50 hydro sheets, a special inner layer design can hold up to six war game brushes and ten hobby brushes from the army painter range perfect for acrylic paints two pieces of hydro foam 50 pieces of hydro sheets hard plastic cover protected with anti-mold agent easy clean easy store store your brushes keep and use paint fresh and ready uh, safety straps you gotta have your safety straps right to be honest, I never used a wet palette. I don't even know if I needed a wet palette. I probably don't. Oh, you probably loved me bending that cardboard right in the microphone then, didn't you? That, that sounded lovely. Right. Uh, oh, bubble wrap. It's just, oh. Yeah, that's the magic. Right, stop messing around John, Let's, we've got an unboxing to do. All 10 people that will watch this video are very interested in what I have to say. So, what we got? We've got a lot of plastic, do you enjoy a lot of plastic here? So the army paint a tool in a uh, the Army Painter Tool and Assembly Safety Guide. And the safety glasses, peeps. Oh, it's straight up. It is a straight up guide on how to cut miniatures off sprues. I'm going to zoom out a little. We'll zoom in. Okay. Oof, look at that. So yeah, we got cutting parts off sprues, tidying up miniatures, assembling miniature bases. When a warrior becomes a unit. Look at that. Assembling, cleaning metal, super gluing, plastic super glue, combining materials, cutting resin, cleaning miniatures, assembling, magnetizing, green stuff. Whoa. Okay. That's, it is basically a guide to everything they sell, this I am interested in. Uh, Army Painter, on the off chance you are watching this, I'm going to look at the camera, this is how important this is. Feel free to send me stuff. Right, what we got now? Free, please take one. Oh. Came in my box, so I guess I'll take one. What we got here? Okay, so this is introduction to spray paints and normal paints, then dipping it, and then done. And three step assembly miniatures, hobby knives, files. This is just another advertisement. Just fine. I get it. They want to sell stuff. What else we got? 
Are they? I thought I were GW miniatures then for a minute. That's weird to advertise them. Look a bit like Mantic. Oh no, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Who knows anymore? Quick shade tones after drying. That's pretty good. The soft tone, strong tone, and then the dark tone. Dark tone always wins for me. How to dip? Look at that. Use a massive pair of pliers. Best way for dipping. Varnish. We all know this stuff. Okay. Oh. oh! Tricked me again. Well, that was a space marine. It's not a space marine. <laughs> so, we've managed to get our way through all the junk. Now we're on to the real stuff, hopefully. So. And it's always funny when you get one of these. Smashed, broken, miss an item. Reach out to us. I get it. Yeah, they want us to review them. They want us to be happy. Just package it well and it won't break. Shh. Oh, this is handy. I haven't got one of these yet. Full range of 124 war paints. An instruction guide on how to use them. Hmm. Gonna keep that. That's a good thing. Thank you for putting that in the box. Holy products, get more time. And look, it's even more advertisement in this box. I really think they want me to buy stuff. So this looks and feels like the hydro phone. This must be the hydro paper. And the booklet. Wet palette. How to use. Preparation set up. Here we go. Are you ready guys? This is gonna get exciting. You soak the foam in water. You place the hydro foam in the tray. Add more water if needed. Measure one to two millimeters of water from the bottom of the tray. Apply a dry hydro sheet on top. Squeegee away any pockets of air. Start painting. Apply paint to your palette. Now you can start painting. Using the wet palette, you add your paint. Add water. Store with lid closed to keep paint fresh for up to 48 hours. Empty water from pan, squeeze excess water, dispose of your hydro sheet. Don't tilt when storing paints inside. Okay. Nothing, nothing crazy there, let's be honest. Product itself. Ooh, my light controller. Didn't put my lights on today. Don't know. Don't know if anyone noticed or anybody cared. Didn't feel like it. It's sunny outside. Nice. So yeah, it's a elasticated red. Has kind of a leather detail into it. Army paint. And the palette itself. So here's your brush location. I might go get some brushes in a second. Test it out. That's where your hydro foam goes. Let's have a go. I'm not actually going to paint today. Just not feeling it. So I'm not going to force it. We'll just. There you go. Look at that. With some nice uh, army painter detail. I guess you would soak that. wet piece of paper on top which is just parchment paper it's 
be honest, guys. I'll tell you that it's hydro paper. But it's just probably wax topped. And I assume this would stick in an ideal world. Okay. Let's grab some paintbrushes. Do I stop recording or do I let you watch me as I wander around this room? Oof. I feel like the money is on you watching me walk around the room. Take a video and we'll come back tomorrow and take another look. It's meant to last 48 hours. Let's see if they're telling fibbies. Right, here we go. Sponge on the bottom. Water. Uh -huh. That looks great. Wow. It's one of those scenarios where I should reload the book. Just like throw more on. Soak, soak. That's pretty soaked, isn't it? Add hydro sheet and push out bubbles. Whoop. Squeegee. Right, question. Am I meant to have moisture on top of it? Mm, this is wipe away bubbles. So soak foam, base foam and tray. Add more water if needed. One can two mils measured from the bottom of the tray. Bit more of water. Add hydro sheet. Foam squeegee away pockets of air. And start to paint. Oh. Yep, I know you're gonna say it. My finger is not a squeegee. But we comprehend that idea. away. I'm just saying fuck you. Right. <laughs> Wet? I don't know. I just don't know guys. Maybe I'll use the other foam sheet as a squeegee. As always remember you're watching Adventures with Pets where we do everything by the book. Give this a squeegee. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. You probably didn't want water on it. Um, yeah, real name's John. There you go. You just learned something about me today. Put that off to the side. Let's find some paint. Got some paint. You know, you're gonna be dealing with wobblets. Need some uh, laid one flesh. We'll see how it goes. I'm just using it straight out of the pot. I'm a philistine. Uh, army regiment painter. Load it up. Put it on here. Add some water to it. Thin it down. I don't know. I just don't. Right, overloaded my brush. In that. And just a bit. There's some to all blobble up there. I say, maybe I thinned it down too much. Okay, some thin coats. 
He hasn't been a fan of that. I can do it in a thicker coat and it's done. Why would I want to go back? Man, I'm excited to paint bubble up. He is an excuse for me to crack open some yellow contrast paints. Orange contrast paints. Go for it though. Nice bright esque character. You're probably getting a lovely uh, picture of my head from the webcam, I'm guessing. You just realised what I did. Just a pinch off the tub rather than off of my wet palette. The whole point of this video, John. For God's sakes, stay on topic. Right, let's see. Um, hey, why don't I bring up a picture of the uh, blubber lips? I keep on saying Max Blubber, but that's a that's a weird mashup of Max Bubba, <laughs> the villain from Strontium Dogs, and of course Blubber Lips, who is in my hands right now. Bubble lips from TM Dog. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, so he has a lot of yellow and a lot of orange. So his visor is gonna be yellow. So I'm just gonna put moon on it as well. Because later on I will be applying some white to him. Yes, we got his badge. The bright red. That's the thing to drop. Note this his utility belt, boots, cuffs, shoulders, all yellow. A lot of yellow. Okay, that was done. And for the wet palette unboxing, it then became Lover Lips painting. So yeah, I have no idea if I'm using. I think that I started in this hobby. Oof, how old am I? I would have been years ago. It's probably when I started. Crazy. Oof, where's time going, bro? So I've been in this hobby for 30 years. My paint jobs probably have not improved. Yeah, I think we're probably not. I guarantee there's people watching right now. What are you doing? Put in two thin coats, man. Come. You want two thin coats? No. Is this wet palette gonna do? Nice. Definitely noticing. You can see on the paint, and I would straight out the bottle. But that's just gonna make me lazy for once. Be mixing some more into my paint. Drop me a comment. Let me know. You paint. 
straight out of the bottle. A little bit of water on the brush. Take the time. Thin down your paints a little. For me, the young kids, and in terms of paint, is not easy. In time to do videos, it's even harder. There is almost each one complete. I've got all these parts covered. We'll uh, shut the paint and palette. See if it stays moist. Apparently, I have no qualms about this. It, I don't know. Isn't it correctly? I can already tell you I'm finding it easier to paint there on that piece of parchment having to constantly dip into the bowl I've made this with parchment oh, oh. would it be as fun for you guys to watch? probably a disaster Okay, um, the end of stage one. Oh. Not meaning for this to turn into a painting video. Painting with taps instead of the bench went with me for an unboxing. When we come back later, I have. Probably have my, we'll probably have blubber lips again. Probably needs some touch-ups done. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. A lighter tone now on everything. Okay, we'll put him off to the side. And supposedly I just do this. Feels like it's just gonna s stick to the bottom of this tray. My paintbrush will clean up. And I thank you for joining me. Stage one, and hopefully, stage two will be very soon for you guys. Hey, we're back. It's been 24 hours plus some. I was meant to come back yesterday and film a bit more. That did not happen. But, tools are still there. Still down. And, it's still wet. It works. Hey, brush. Where is my water? I got my water cup. What did you see? Oh, it looks good. Love Ellipse is back. Right, so that is ultimately the review of the wet palette. Does what it says on the tin. And now, I need to just turn this into a painting video. For old Blob Ellipse here. So, thank you very much for watching. You're only here for the uh, wet palette review. That is now done. Uh, yeah, I really like it. Worth the money. I can see me using it in the near future. Not on this figure in particular, because I've only got a couple of stages left to do on it. But yeah, nice little kit.